So Inkscape, splining water bodies, particularly what we're talking about here are ponds and lakes, okay? Um, streams, uh, we'll talk about a little bit later um, because, uh, so the big difference here between ponds and lakes is ponds and lakes, the water plane, okay? The water is flat because all the sides of the pond or the lake contain the water. So that water ends up being flat, okay? Now, when you talk about a stream or a river or a lake, the water plane is not flat. It actually flows downhill. Um, so those are treated a little bit differently. We're going to spline those in Inkscape, but the theory behind those um, ultimately is a little bit different. So in here, we are talking particularly about ponds and lakes. So let's get into it. So if I bring up my Inkscape, and this is Hershey Country Club again, this should look familiar to you. I do have one pawn that is off like right here um, on here. And you can see that there are two different um, colors that we can use to do water bodies. Uh, if I hover over this one, the dark blue, this one has a 12 centimeter blend on the outside and an 18 centimeter inset. So similar to bunkers, there's an outer blend and then there's that inner blend the inset um, that inset again is used inside of blender so we can manipulate the bank of the lake and make it different heights and shapes um, the other thing we have here is we have this other light blue and you can see that there's only a blend on the outside and we call this a creek you can use either of these you could use this creek one for pond and pond one for uh, for a creek um, just kind of a labeling thing. It's all dependent on how you want that blend. Do you want that inner blend and are you going to use it or not? Um, so that's why, again, it's important to understand what these things do later on in Unity. So that's why you're only having you do a, a couple holes. Um, so you might want to just maybe do two water bodies here, make one up someplace and do one with the creek and one with the water body and see the differences between them, okay, and see how they end up looking. Um, you know, experiment. Now's the time to do it. So how are we gonna do this pond? Well, first of all, this pond, I'm gonna put it on hole number one. Uh, so I wanna make sure that I've got my hole one layer highlighted. And I'm gonna to go to my draw tool here. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer so I can see those embankments. And then I actually might come down to my satellite and see if my hill shade, eh, my hill shade actually gives me a pretty good idea of the elevation. And this is gonna match my terrain. So I actually might use my hill shade to do this. So I am. So in this case, I'm going to start here and you can see I'm going to start tracing out where I believe the embankment is. So I'm just going to trace this out and I would probably spend a little bit more time paying closer attention to this, but I am trying not to waste your time. And this is also why we only want to do a few things, because you might find later on when you bring this into Unity that you need to change where this is located, okay? And rather than if you have a lot of water on your area. Now, that came in as rough, so I want to switch this to water. Now, just like bunkers, remember, we do not want to cut through bunkers, and we do not want to cut through this water okay because it has an inset that's going to mess up things in blender so we do not want to cut through that but that is it we pretty much have our water splined at this point um i do not have any creeks on this course so i might have to do a, a separate course to show you how creeks are done um, but to give you an idea if you're going to do a creek effectively you're going to have to probably buy ram okay one of the paid assets that we talked about earlier in the required software because ram is going to dig um, things it can dig things on a downhill um, and also it can give you a water plane that is sloped okay you can't do that with the native tool so I would say if you really want to do a stream okay uh, anything other than a flat water body you're gonna need RAM I think it's only like 15 bucks so it's probably worth the purchase um, also oceans um, you can do oceans, but oceans are much more effective if you buy a, an asset called Lux, L-U-X. Um, I don't think I have a video on those. It's more of an advanced topic, um, but oceans are, are, are much better done with an asset called Lux. And you can also do oceans with RAM, I believe, as well. Um, but you're going to have to experiment then and maybe check with some people in the Discord. But at this point, our water is on here, and it's all the way at the top of our hierarchy to make sure nothing gets cut underneath it. 
okay? Remember, bunkers and water. Do not cut through bunkers of water. They should be on top, all right? Have a good day.